ladies and gentlemen, we have takeoff. And we also have an annoying windscreen buzz as well. I forgot to fix that before I left. Oh well. I'll get to it sometime. But I am now headed out from my house. Going to embark on my first big road trip. I'm going to Arizona. No, I'm not. I'm going to Arkansas. It's going to be a total of 1,000 or 1,000 miles and 1,098 miles. Uh, probably a little more for me getting lost, maybe. It's hard. It would be really hard for me to get lost though, because it's just straight shot highways for a lot of the time. Actually, I think for the entire time I'm doing highways. Alright, um, yeah, I'm, this is really nerve-wracking. <laughs> I've never gone this big road trip before. I left a lot later than I would like to have. Uh, it is now, I think it's 11.30. I wanted to leave a lot earlier than that, but I was running around with my head cut off yesterday, and getting things, last minute things done, and, and, um, so, now is the, uh, now is the more realistic time that I can leave, but I have, um, I have my blinker on, which is embarrassing, um, I have 118, no I don't, I have uh, 110 miles on this tank right now. I'm going to go to the uh, gas station to fill her up before I head out. Um, hopefully stop in the next 100 miles after that. See how it feels. I'm doing 400 miles today. Um, I'm splitting up. Today is going to be 400 miles. Tomorrow is going to be 400 miles. And then on Friday morning, I'm going to meet in Jackson, Tennessee with Wilkes89. Uh, we're going to trailer my bike for the last 300 miles. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but it's my first road trip, and I'm <laughs> I don't only think I can do 800 miles in two days, so. I got my whole uh, bike loaded up, got my tank bag, I got my tail bag, got my saddle bags, all of them are filled. Um, using them to their entire potential right now. And um, got my Airhawk seat on, it's feeling quite comfortable, might I add. Um... But yeah, I will, I guess, update you in a little bit. I'm gonna get gas. Well, looking at the sky from the way I'm heading, it doesn't look too promising. So I've got my pants on. Oh man. I'm with all the trucks again. This isn't good. Oh. It's kind of nervous actually riding on the road with all these big semi trucks all the time. And it's. <laughs> kind of makes me question why I just stuck the camera in my face. Um, but I can see perfectly fine, don't worry. I'm listening to some music right now. I pulled over and I was going to listen to my iPod, my little iPod Nano, and um, it's not turning on. I haven't used it in about, the month, about a month, so I'm guessing the batteries have gone. So When I get to the hotel room tonight, I'm going to charge it off the computer. And yeah. So I'm about 280 mi miles into my trip, and so far the weather has been really, really weird. When it first started off, it was kind of cool. Um, by the way, I forgot my thermal liner for this jacket, so. 
there's been a couple times where I get kind of chilly. Well, it started off kind of cool. And I, you know, I... That was okay for a little bit. And then once I started to get to the mountains, it got really, uh, it got really warm. I was like, oh, this is awesome. And now it's cold again. <laughs> I'm really hoping this is actually the, uh, the coldest day of my travels. Which I'm pretty sure it is. Because it's like, I think it said in the 60s, high of like 70, low 70s I believe is what it said. 